guys, welcome to another instalment of Vlogmas! And yes, as per the title of this video, we are outside Liberty and we're going to go check out the Christmas store. And it's raining! Brilliant! So I'm going to run inside now and if we've got time we're also going to go to John Lewis. It's literally chucking it down, let's go. <laughs> and we have got a little bit of Christmas in the windows but they're actually just doing the windows up there which I hopefully will be able to show you in another vlog. Yeah, let's go in and see all the treats. Oh, a Liberty hamper, absolute goal. I like that they've got some like old school um, like chains, is that what you call them? I can't really show this room too much, you're not allowed to film it. But if you haven't checked out my other Liberty vlog, I did like a full tour, but everything is Christmas. Oh, I love the boxes, they're like iconic. Yeah, I did like a full tour of Liberty, so what I will do is link that in the description, I'll pop it at the end as well. <laughs> Oh my god guys, it's happening. Ah, I love, love having a mooch around shops. I honestly don't really need anything. I've got so many Christmas decorations, but it's not Christmas without looking in the Christmas stores and departments. Department stores, should I say. And yeah, last year I never got here because of lockdown and essential travel only. Oh, okay, that makes my legs go fast. It seems like there's two little sections for it and there's an area out here for like traditional games and like wooden toys, but let's go in and look at the decorations. Obviously, I can't show you everything, but I will show you some. Oh, even a chocolate advent calendar. I did have the beauty one last year, which was amazing. Oh gosh, I don't know where to start. I'll just show you some of the cute decorations. Wow. <laughs> This is gonna be a funny vlog. Now, unfortunately, these don't really go with the color scheme of my tree, but maybe we can find a, maybe one thing that might. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here, guys. This is awesome. I love it when they do things color-coded. Oh my God, actually, yeah. There's a whole section over there. Section where that lady is. Okay, I'll do my best. What Liberty are known for having like really quirky things, so I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for some really cute, quirky um, decorations, like funny decorations. See, things like this are funny. Look at this little owl. <laughs> so the decorations are, I guess, anywhere from five pounds to about 25 pounds. Actually saying that one, that one's 3.99, which I don't think is too bad. Cute little ballerinas. I can sense everyone saying, show me a certain color for your tree. Aww some clogs oh look at this garland that's absolutely stunning can you see that oh it's heavy oh gosh i don't want to touch it i see i like little animals look at him he's so cute nice bluey turquoisey section here absolutely stunning so yeah baubles are about five pounds oh this section's pretty fun everywhere tends to have like very london-y um accessories now for Christmas or decorations. Accessories, what am I talking about? I love the UK and a little um, telephone box and some taxis and some soldiers. Love it. <laughs> um, no comment. Oh look, there's another one. Can I get that in focus? <laughs> right, this is gift gold. So for five pounds you can get a massive chocolate coin. I love a chocolate coin. But look at this reindeer. I'm pretty sure, it, oh, it is for sale. Should we have a look? Yours for a thousand pounds. This is a good section. So we've got like a whole bit here with different animals. I guess this is really good if you have, I don't know, kids, like a whole tree that's animal themed. I personally don't know anyone who has a theme like this. Get a little sparkly elephant. I mean, who doesn't need a crocodile? with some Christmas decorations around it. Um, yeah, this is a bit overwhelming, guys, I'm not gonna lie. There's so much in here, I'll do my best. But yeah, we've got an exotic themed section there. <laughs> and with this beautiful tree here, we have an under the sea themed. I mean, this is what I'm talking about when I say Liberty do really cool, quirky things. You're not necessarily gonna find this kind of stuff anywhere else. Um, <laughs> at all i mean it kind of goes with the theme that carnaby street had last year they had like a under the sea um it was like a sustainability message or something like that obviously they've got um like box sets there's quite a few of them of different brands oh can you see that from the reflection so you can get four little <laughs> jazzy fishes in that one oh look and for the sporting fan in your family 
you can get lots of different types of balls which is quite fun and then we've got some more sporty bits here and then who doesn't need an olive oil <laughs> ornament so yeah there's always like a funny food section and this has been a trend for a little while now brussels sprouts little um dinner there to hang up okay it's a little bit calmer down this end but we've got some fun hair bands i think a lot of places do these now i mean anywhere from primark and um all the way to liberty so yeah some festive hair bands are a must oh now we are in the wreath section um i'm trying really hard with this new camera so i apologize if any of this is a little bit wobbly hopefully by the end of vlogmas i would have found my knack with this camera hopefully the quality is decent oh my gosh i love all these like felt ones these are so cool i've seen the brussels sprouts ones before i think quite a few places do those types of things but we've got a little heart here with uh, mistletoe how much is that that one's oh the 16 pound i don't think that's too bad but reese can really vary like that one with the red berries I've just seen it's 55 got a big gingerbread man loads of nice garlands i think uh well i know john lewis will have quite a few bits as well we've got the woodland section here <laughs> honestly i freaking love little animals like how cute look at that hedgehog that's adorable we've got a little little dormouse kind of oh this rudolph is really cute i really like the materials that they've used on all of these these are really sweet and uh what are they they're about 10 mm, about 9 to 12 pounds just spotted this look at this little dog oh it says it's a musical dome for 45 pounds there's quite a few of these things dotted around so if you're coming uh do do keep an eye out so festive love it it's like little uh like notes of decorations uh all around the store so keep an eye out for all the it's like traditional letter gearing i love it you've got the outside of the liberty store that's kind of what the iconic um outside looks like absolutely stunning i really like that that's really sweet um but yeah we've got loads of loads of toy soldiers here this is like a thing do they usually have these i don't know i haven't been to this store for honestly a couple of years now um and then they've got like advent candles which are really cool and the cute little train you can hear a little bit of a jingle in the background but we've got some slightly more traditional color decorations here oh look at those robins they're really sweet aren't they okay there is tons more so um cue the christmas music All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be all right These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you So I tried to show you some of the decorations. There's actually another couple of sections which I haven't shown you. But in this other room, we have got all the foodie treats. Um, what is in this cabinet? Just a nice little display there of some tinned goods. Love something in a container. Yeah, so they've got quite a few table displays. Um, oh, dark chocolate ginger thins i love things that come in like a container you can reuse um and then oh i love this packaging like old school sweets these little animals are everywhere <laughs> and you can buy them yeah come in here for some nice biscuits or something and we do have oh, i do need to get a gingerbread house i might just get it from john lewis though um these are huge got some other oh as if anyone is doing something that intricate and pretty mine definitely would not look like that we've got a little train here um and then oh can you see that from the light a little christmas tree as well 
yeah so there's so much to choose from yeah there's this whole food but like i say i don't know if this was here last time it might have been but yeah last year we never made it here but they decorated the fireplace, got some little gifting books that are quite fun. And traditional advents, which don't have any chocolate in them. I told you, they're everywhere. I don't have a stocking, but these are really cute. This brand here, is that Jan Constantine? Those are, those are pretty. Oh, this is the beauty advent calendar that I had last year. It's really good. This year I've got a Harrods one, and then that's the men's ones. It's massive. So I'm gonna get a couple of the chocolate coins, and then this really sweet, well, I already showed it, um, mistletoe wreath, can you see that? Little heart. I've got a massive wreath that I got from John Lewis last year, so I don't need another one. Purchase made, and now it's time for a little scoot around John Lewis. I'm on Oxford Street, so let's go have a look. Oh yes, I do love me Christmas decorations in a department store. I feel like these are the same as last year. <laughs> are they? I'm not sure. Purple and green. It's okay. Pinky. Pinky purple. Oh, let's not fall over. We haven't got time for A&E today. But yes, we're going up to floor three, which is the Christmas World, I think they've called it. Oh no, sorry. The Christmas Emporium. Absolutely love John Lewis. And I think I showed, yeah, a few vlogs ago, Peter Jones, which is basically John Lewis. Did anyone as a kid come up to London and you would look at the Christmas decorations. I mean, that might be why people are watching this. But also, what is the right coat to wear when you're shopping? Because these stores are boiling and it's not that cold at the moment still in the UK compared to usual. I'm bloody roasting. Woo, Christmas at John Lewis is everything. So we're gonna go over and have a look. And I did have a scoot here the other day just because I actually went to came to buy this camera that I'm using. Oh, I love all the white theme, very nice. Um, but they have the quality street pop-up is back and it wasn't here last year. I can't show you all the chocolate. There's lots of chocolate. It's quite posh, it's quite expensive. It's proper bougie. Wouldn't say no to be gifting any of this stuff. I mean, just yes to everything. Yes to everything. Oh, hold on. I seem to love anything that is like Brussels sprouts. Oh my God, these are chocolates. Stop. <gasps> I love all the colour themes that they've pulled together. Oh look, there's little ones down there. All the green together. Oh, Bill Murray Gingerbread House. Okay, that box looks different to last year, which is fine. We've got a train. Um, I think I, used to, I think the last one I got was from M&S. They're all the same, aren't they, really, to be honest. You don't need a posh one. Yeah, okay, I'll come back in a minute and we're getting one of them. Oh, this is what you want to see. I posted this on my Instagram and everyone was like, oh my God, where is this, where is this? Um, yeah, so Nestle Chocolate has quality streets for those of you in the UK. I'm literally telling you everything you know. Um, but this is kind of like iconic for Christmas in the UK. Back in the day, quality streets and general chocolates used to come in tins. Now they come in these like funny plastic things that are like four or five quid. Naturally, you don't get as many chocolates and it's a bit of a debate, but you get less of the ones that you want is the theory um yeah so john lewis always have a exclusive chocolate but essentially what you do you buy 12 uh you buy you buy 12 tins you buy a special tin for 12 quid which of course is like three times the price as the normal ones but you actually get what you want um let me just see, i'll see in a second how much you get um and you basically with the help of the assistant here they will fill so you can see the chocolate tin as per the ones that you want. My understanding is, is you just have to have, I think, two flavors. I'm sure someone's gonna correct me in the comments. Yeah, look at this. For those that had a tin the last three years, you can bring that tin back. So pull it out of the cupboard, get your biscuits out of it or your baubles, and you can refill that for 10 pounds. So um, it's two pounds cheaper in theory, or you can get one with like a name one or something. So they've got like Lovey Street there, it's a bit random, um, for 15 pounds. And just to be clear, none of this is ever sponsored. I just absolutely love stuff like this. But yeah, you get a little card and you fill in what you want. Should I get one now? Hmm. Oh, I stand corrected. You just have to have three different sweet choices. And these are the ones that you can pick from. Um, there are some here that, you know, I wouldn't personally pick. I think I would pick, oh, if I can get you in focus, the purple one. Oh, green triangle I like. Um, 
uh, maybe this one. I think I've had this one before. They usually have the same one each year. Um, what would you pick? Look, they've got giant ones up there. Amazing. You sometimes can get the really big ones, the purple ones in like boots and stuff, but they're just filled up with lots of the little chocolates. And I've just had a sneak and it's 1.2 kilograms. It's quite a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to briefly show you each of the different themes that they have here. They do an exceptional job at displaying all of the different um, Christmas themes that they have for festive fields. I mean, they are quite similar each year, which makes sense. This is like a beautiful traditional one and a gorgeous little table set up. I'm trying to think what mine is like. Mine's got a bit more of a pinky vibe to it, but this is stunning. Look how white all this is. I, there was a couple of things I wanted to get in Liberty, but I didn't think it was quite right for the color scheme. I'm quite strict with my color scheme and I don't want like bits that don't go with it. I'm not sure if I'm just a bit fussy. I just don't want to kind of go off on tangent on the tree colors. Oh, look at him. <laughs> We've got Technicolor Supernature. Oh, I'm struggling now, guys. I need a cup of tea. I can't get the words out. Um, not sure about that one. Copper River. That is stunning. I always do like a poll on Instagram. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. This, this, this is me, guys. I love it. I've actually bought so many decorations. My entire tree, basically, is from John Lewis. Um, have I uploaded that vlog yet? No. So check that out when it comes out. I'll show you all of my decorations, but I like the slightly pinky hue. Honestly, everyone loves a bit of like mermaid vibes. That's like a thing now. We have gemstone forest. Oh, I personally, I don't have different colored lights on my tree. What do you guys have? I think mine are just like warm LEDs. This is making me want to change my tree. <laughs> don't need any more decorations. I don't need any more. I keep telling myself. Oh, blush coast. Yeah, this is so cute with the underwater nautical theme. Oh, look at the little crab. Is that a crab? It's adorable. Oh, I love it. I think I probably said this last year, I wonder how much it would actually cost to buy all of these baubles and ornaments. And I can already sense in the comments, baubles are these balls. This is what we call them in the UK. Oh, look at him, little turtle. I would say if you're coming to John Lewis and you see a little decoration that you like, buy it. By the time maybe this vlog is coming out, they sell out quite quickly. Um, I mean, some stuff they replenish, but it's obviously not the type of product that you can easily just remake for another order. So that's it for the year. Oh, green moody, I like that. I really liked the um, like peacock stuff that they had in Liberty. I think I probably would have kept that clip in. I wonder how many whales they sell. <laughs> so yeah, basically they have each of the themes and then they have a bay with all the decorations that go with it. And then behind here we have like a garland section and like tinsel. Let's have a quick look. I don't have a fireplace or stairs, so a garland probably isn't really what I need in my life, but some of them are absolutely stunning. My um, wreath for my door is really similar to that with like the fake, I don't know, all these like little white things are. Random advert for Sony. Bit of a smaller section this year. Maybe they haven't um, quite got everything, but yeah, all like the little Christmassy things. So if you are in London, I think these are really cute. Uh, oh, if I can show you a little keepsake. You've got to have something with like a Union Jack on. But yeah, you can also get your Christmas tree from here. I bought my Christmas tree from Balsam Hill. It was, ve it's very realistic versus these trees. Um, these obviously are quite expensive, but yeah, I personally would recommend Balsam Hill. is also a really good place to look for Christmas trees. Or you could buy a real one, as everyone's probably going to be like, I don't want a plastic tree. That's fair enough. I don't mind having a fake tree. Oh, it feels so festive. And if you're a bit tight on space, 25 quid, you get this little, I mean, it is small actually, <laughs> with six baubles. Um, maybe that's for like, your desk at work. with these you probably can't see them little birds i think last year i tried to get something like this and they were sold out so these are 12 pounds and they just like clip on the little branches but yeah it's time to head home purchases are made although i've just realized going down the escalator 
didn't buy the gingerbread house, did I? I knew I was going to forget, but it's fine. I will be back. If not, I'll get one from M&S. Um, but yeah, I'm going to love and leave you. Thanks for, for watching this. I don't think I can look at any more Christmas decorations for at least a day or two. Um, but I will see you in the next vlog. Like and subscribe and all that jazz if you wish to do so. And I will see you next time. Well, this is lovely lighting, isn't it? <laughs> Bye.